Hello and welcome to a quick video about finding slope from a table. First, let's review the formula we use to find slope. Slope, which is known as rise over run, can be found by using the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now you might be wondering what this formula actually means. Simply put, when you're trying to find the slope of a given relationship, you always have, at minimum, two points. Each is made up of an x and a y value. Our first point consists, not surprisingly, of x1 and y1, and your second point consists of your x2 and your y2 values. Using this understanding, we can begin to color code our formula appropriately, making sure that each of our values in our formula are sourced from the correct point. Now, let's apply this to an example to better understand exactly how we can use our formula to find slope. In this example, we're given a table full of x and y values. Each x and y pair in the table represent a point. Our first pair make up the point 2, 8. Our second pair make up the point 11, 44. And our third pair make up the point 20, 80. You'll notice that we only need two points to make our formula work, not more than that. And since it really doesn't matter which two points you use, always make sure to use the easier ones. In this case, let's pick 2, 8 for our first point and 11, 44 for our second point. That's all we really need. Now let's start identifying which values will correspond for each point. Looking at point 1, our x1 will be 2, and our y1 will be 8. Now looking at point 2, our x2 will be 11, and our y2 will be 44. That's straightforward enough. Now let's start plugging our values into the actual formula. Again, our y2 is 44, our y1 is 8, and our x2 is 11, and our x1 is 2. Now that we have our formula filled out, we can solve. 44 minus 8 is 36 over 11 minus 2, which is 9. Now, all we have to do is simplify this fraction. 36 divided by 9 is 4. That's our slope. The final slope of this table is 4. That's how easy it is to find slope from a table. Let's just do one final example. Just as before, each x and y pair in this table represent a point, And we only need two points to work with. It doesn't matter which points were chosen, so let's go ahead and pick the easiest ones. Fractions aren't really anyone's favorite thing, so let's avoid the last point and use the first two ones. It also doesn't matter what order you pick the points in. We can go ahead and pick the middle point to be point 1, and the topmost point to be point 2. Now all we have to do is start filling in our xy's on the top right. 3 is x1, 1 is y1, 9 is x2, and 3 is y2. Now let's start plugging numbers into our formula. y2 is 3, y1 is 1, x2 is 9, and x1 is 3. Now we can solve. 3 minus 1 is 2, over 9 minus 3, which is 6. Now it looks like 2 over 6 can be simplified, so let's work on that. First, let's move things over a bit to give ourselves some room. Now we know that 2 and 6 can both be divided by 2, so let's do just that. 2 divided by 2 is 1, over 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Our final simplified fraction is 1 over 3, which means the slope of this table is 1 over 3. That's how easy it is to find slope from any table.